We have seen the effect of a lead network and a lag network in a circuit. Now, on the basis of our knowledge on the effect of a pole and a zero in a circuit, we will look into the frequency response of an IC operational amplifier. As you know, the IC op amp is a multi-stage amplifier with several nodes and at each and every node there is a scope for the occurrence of an internodal capacitor. And this capacitor may grow into either a pole or a zero or both by incorporating the output resistance of the previous stage and the input resistance of the upcoming stage. And the effect of these poles and zero will be crucial in the frequency response of an IC operational amplifier. Then the effect of these poles and zeros will come into the transfer function of the IC op amp. And what we have seen practically is that there are a large number of poles as well as zeros in the transfer function of an IC operational amplifier. And one more important point that we have observed in practice is that the zeros occurring in the transfer function of the op amp are at extremely large frequencies comparing with the poles. So at practical frequencies, we are required to consider only the effect of poles rather than zeros. Since zeros are found to be occurring at very large frequency of the order of greater than 500 megahertz. Now we have taken an approximate expression for the transfer function of an IC operational amplifier involving a pole and a zero. The circuit or the IC has a pole at a frequency Fp and a zero at the frequency say Fz and it's evident that Fz is much much greater than Fp. Fp. And practically instead of having one pole you may have more than two or three poles. Suppose there are n number of poles at n different frequencies, then at each and every pole or at a frequency just exceeding each and every pole frequency, the gain will be falling at a roll of rate of 20 dB per decade. On the basis of this, we have approximated a frequency response curve representing both the variation of the magnitude of the gain as well as the phase angle of the gain as a function of frequency. For this IC, we assume that there are four different poles respectively at 1 MHz, 8 MHz, 10 MHz and 55 MHz. As the frequency of the input signal increases, initially the gain is found to be a constant. That means the roll off of the gain is 0 dB per decade. And at that time, there is negligibly small phase difference between the output and input. Of course, the output will be lagging behind the input in terms of the phase angle. As the frequency increases and reaches the first pole frequency, the gain will be falling by 3 decibel and by that time the phase angle will be 45 degree. The output will be lagging behind the input by means of an angle of 5 by 4. Beyond this frequency, as frequency of the input signal increases, the gain of the amplifier will be falling at a roll of rate of 20 dB per decade. And this will eventually give rise to a phase difference of maximum 90 degree between the output and input. This roll off continues till the next pole frequency reaches. At this frequency the gain will be again falling by 3 dB with respect to its earlier value and the gain will be showing a more steeper roll off of 20 dB per decade already it do have plus 20 dB per decade being introduced by the second pole so that 
At a frequency exceeding the second pole frequency, the roll-off will be at a rate of 40 dB per decade. And this roll-off rate continues till the next pole frequency reaches. Beyond that pole frequency, an additional roll-off of 20 dB per decade will be introduced. And <coughs> the overall roll-off rate will be tending into 60 dB per decade. So, more fastly, it will be growing or say falling to reach 0 dB gain once the third pole frequency or the fourth pole frequency is reached. If there is a fourth pole then it will be introducing an additional roll off of 80 dB per decade. So that a single pole is capable of introducing an overall phase difference of 90 degree. The second pole frequency will introduce an additional phase, di phase difference 45 degree and the, once the frequency of the signal increases, it will be capable of producing an additional phase difference of 90 degree. So two poles are sufficient to cause a phase difference of 90 plus 90 equal to 180 degree between the output and input and that may often cause us some problems particularly in the case of operational amplifier with negative feedback we will now head that problems that is in terms of the title stability of an operational amplifier in most of the configurations as i have mentioned earlier op amp will be operated in negative feedback configuration in negative feedback configuration the gain of the amplifier a prime is equal to a divided by one plus a beta where a is the uh, mid band gain or constant gain of the ic operational amplifier but we have seen that this mid band gain or constant gain of an IC operational amplifier is not a constant as we expect. Instead, it crucially depends upon the frequency of the input signal. In fact, it is given by A equal to AV. I might represent this as say AV, the mid band gain or open loop gain of an IC operational amplifier. AV divided by 1 plus J into F by FC or this may have some more impacts in terms of the occurrence of poles and zeros at different frequencies. We have taken only the simplest case it involved. We assume that it involved a single pole. Whatever may be the case definitely this gain A will be a function of frequency of the input signal and for the sake of analysis we will consider an inverting amplifier configuration the open loop gain of the op amp is expected to be AV but seldom we will be getting this gain once a, an AC signal is injected to the circuit or to the amplifier it will be modifying the gain from AV to A given by AV by 1 plus J into F by FC. If there is only one pole, if there is a zero also, then in the denominator you will have 1 minus J into FZ divided by F. If it has one more pole, then there will be one more multiplication factor in the denominator. And if there are n number of poles and zeros in total, there will be n number of frequency dependent parameters depending upon the nature of the circuit or say the supplementary circuit whether it is a pole or a zero. So the gain is not a constant and it strictly depends upon frequency. Then the gain of the feedback amplifier also will be a function of frequency. What is the immediate impact of this case is that, that we can see here itself. This is a basic inverter configuration. The non-inverting terminal is grounded. To the inverting terminal we have an input signal. This input signal is applied like this. This is the input resistance and R prime is being labeled as the feedback resistance and of course you expect an output voltage here which is shifted through 180 degree with respect to the input since it is basically an inverting amplifier configuration. A part of this output signal that is part of the output appearing across R is being given to the input as a feedback.
अब ई वोलटेजि इन अक्रोस फ्राक्ष अतरुला चीज फ्राक्षन इनपुट वण ए डिग्री एक्साक्ट पे डिफरस फ्राक्षन आ फ्राक्षन वर्चल ग्रौंड समिंग वे आड्डी इत रू तमें वण ए डिग्री फेस डिफरस इफक्टीव इनपुट टू द आंप्लिफयर दट दि इनपुट वोलटेज अपियरी अक्रोस द इनपुट टेर्मल ऑफ द आंप्लिफयर विल बी रेड्यूस्ड अब अगर संभव रेड्यूस्ड इनपुट आंप्लिफिकेशन वे अब आंप्लिफो फेसफ आंप्लिफिकेशन नगटीव फीड्बा मत क्वाटीस नमुक एक्सप्लोटियान कह पक्ष गुपीस बी लेबल ओपन लूप इवे नक्सपेक्ट ग ए आमुक कईम फीड्बा कूड़े चेरतीट कईम अब इवे ग या प्रईम का इवे कम पक्षे फ्रीक्वंसी कंसट्रेशन अलग वरा पा फ्रीक्वंसी कंसट्रेशन वाणे ए वि ईस् डिफरें फ्रम ए मोर प्रिसेस्लि डिफरें फ्रम ए वि अब इवे नाम एक्सपेक्ट ग पारामीटर दिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन फ्रीक्वंसी आर्द can have a phase difference of 180 degree if there are two poles in this transfer function appo or particular frequency ethuna samayath onnavatha pole frequency ethuna samayath 45 degree varum pinna pole frequency ku mugalle 10 100 madanga frequency ethuna samayath a phase difference 90 degree vare aagam appo eku rendamatha pole frequency vannu aa rendamatha pole frequency name exceed cheyina or frequency ethumbo rendamatha pole um introduce cheyina maximum phase difference aayittulla 90 डिग्री कूड़ा वरा अब रुम कूड़े चेरत वण ए डिग्री फेस डिफरस ऑलरेडी इवे उरा इंवेटिंग आंप्लिफयर वण ए डिग्री फेस डिफरस अगर वो नाम एक्सपेक्ट इंवेट सिग्नल आनेम नमुक नोण इंवेट सिग्नल कार्ट इनपुट फीड्बाको दिस् वि री इंस्टेट द इनपुट सिग्नल आज ए पॉसिटीव फीड्बा नाम एक्सपेक्ट नगटीव फीड्बा पक्षे वण ए डिग्री ने कूड़ा रुपए इंट्रड्यूस वण ए डिग्री कूड़े चेर इनपुट ओटपुट सें फेसल आगे अब ना फीड्बा फ्राक्ष इनपुट सें फेसल आगे अगर वो इट वि कणवर्ज इंटू ए पॉसिटीव फीड्बा आंप वि स्विचिंग इंटू इट्स साचुरेशन रीजियन आटिंग एन एक्सट्रीमी आंप्लिफड signal for this kind of a situation may tend the op amp for the amplifier to operate not as an amplifier but as an oscillator and there is a criteria for sustainable oscillation being produced which is referred to as the barkhausen criteria and the barkhausen criteria is based on the mathematical concept that the gain of an amplifier in a in an oscillator must be infinity if the gain of an amplifier operating to give dissipation energy for an oscillator is infinity then this will be producing sustainable oscillations sadharana reethiyile or rc circuit lc circuit ok oscillation produce cheyum pakshe adu damped oscillation aayittaanu output labhikunnundaaga kaaranam capacitor le charge cheyathu resistance ne cross discharge cheyum tirichu veendum capacitor ne charge cheyan cheyina samayathaanu namukku sinusoidal oscillation kittunnathu pakshe ee resistance lude charging und discharging und nadakkuna samayathu resistance koreshe energy heat energy aakittu maattum appo oscillation de energy टाइम कूड़ोरूंगे कुमार आंप्लिट्यूड कुछ प्रवणता अब ई एत्र कौ एनर्जी कुछ अत्र एनर्जी तीर्च ओसिलेट सप्ले नोसिलेट असोसियेटर आंप्लिफयर वो अगर आंप्लिफयर संबंध गेन इंफिनिटी कारण ओटपुट इनपुट ओटपुट इन इनपुट चायल ओटपुट को नीनान ई आंप्लिफयर कहियन दट द role of the amplifier as an active component in an oscillatory circuit but gain infinity i kaniyale 
ഇത് പിന്നെ ആംപ്ലിഫയർ എന്നുള്ള ഫംഗ്ഷൻ അല്ല ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമുക്ക് പറയാം അതൊരു ഓസിലേറ്റർ എന്നുള്ള ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഗെയിൻ ഇൻഫിനിറ്റി ആകാനുള്ള ക്രൈറ്റീരിയൻ ആണ് ബാർഹോസൻ 